Yo, what's going on? Davis the camera guy here at Game House Inc. And I know I haven't been here for a while. I had some good reasons. I had a lot of stuff going on. I just had to handle and it made me kind of mess up my schedule on updating and uploading on YouTube. But I am back and I've got a bunch of new stuff that's going to be popping out throughout the whole channel over the next couple of weeks. I recently picked up the new camera. I'm recording on it right now. If you could tell me what it is, if you follow me on Instagram at Davis the Camera Guy, you should know what it is by now. But I am recording back on a new camera and literally I'm in love with this thing. Like this, this is the most underrated, most not given enough credit. It's, it's literally one of the best cameras on the market. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over some things quick, like the settings that I use for this camera. And if you haven't figured it out yet, it's the Canon M50. Now I switch back to Canon. I didn't really switch back, but for my YouTube stuff, I got the Canon M50. I actually got the Canon M50 on a whim because of one particular item, what we're gonna talk about in another video, but I got the Canon M50 and today we're going to do the best settings for your Canon M50 to make your videos cinematic or at least what I use or what I feel is good to get cinematic video from the Canon M50. We're going to do that today and we're just going to switch over the screen right now. Okay, so you have the Canon M50 in front of us and what we're going to do is just go into the menu quick. So as you can see, I have the old style Canon M50 menu here. But on first glance, it normally shows up like this. See that? It's a guided menu that it's easy, but it's normally just for beginners. So what I like to do is stick with the older Canon menu which is the standard. So I'm just gonna switch this back. And then you have your older Canon menu, then you can go by. So working around with the older menu, you have, let's just break this up, your shooting modes so you can shoot in movie auto exposure this is good for beginners as well but like i say i don't have to use this feature so i use movie manual exposure where i get to control all of the settings in movie mode so when you go back i shoot in 60 frames per second we record inside you up to up to 4k but 4k there's a massive prop and the autofocus isn't as good so like i said i use 50 seconds uh, 60 frames per second full HD 60 frames per second um, high frame rate that's 120 frames per second but that's only in 720p I wouldn't recommend using that because who shoots video in 720p anymore but I mean if you want to use the option it's always there uh, moving on to the next you have song recording I use that on manual Lens operation control, I use adapters, so I don't really have to use this, but what that does is that controls like any weird colors that comes out of your images in um, your final image or your video, but I don't use that because I always use adapters. So remote control, time-lapse mode, then you move on to your second page where you have all of these settings, ISO speed, you're probably never going to use these settings. Um, white balance, I always use auto white balance. Um, I don't really switch around from that. Now, a big thing here is my picture style. I use the neutral picture style. And with this picture style, I turn everything, literally everything down. So my stretch is down, my contrast stays the same, my saturation is down, my color tone stays the same. I leave these like this because I have more control to edit in post the way I want and I don't have to worry about as much. So that's the way I shoot, those are the settings that I use for my particular neutral. No, I don't want to set that as default. Let's go back to the menu. 
Another good thing about this menu is, is that it's fully touchscreen. You know, if you're using like a Sony or um, a Panasonic or anything, or a Fuji, the screens are touchscreen when you need to autofocus or anything other than that. But with Canon, you have all of that plus full control over the touchscreen. So if I want to switch to pictures, because I think it's a movie. No, that's not it. All right, let's go to those settings. So image quality, I use raw. I always shoot raw. Raw, you always get to retain more information. Um, aspect ratio, set a three two here. I don't know why, but I just probably leave it at that or 16 by nine. Um, moving on to the next like drive mode I always use high continuous drive mode um, because I like to take a lot of pictures at one time uh, these are things which you're probably not gonna use so just to show, as you see my pictures profile is still neutral here because neutral is what I use to um, basically use my whole Canon M50 touch and drag now this this is cool because now you have the ability to change around where you want if you want to touch and drag on your thing so I keep all of that enabled make sure it's absolute and I use the whole panel autofocus method I switch between all three Canon's are always good for they were always known for good uh, dual pixel autofocus. And that's basically it. Those are the settings that I use for my Canon M50 to get some cinematic content. Let's get some cinematic content. Those are the features that I use to get some cinematic content on my Canon M50. So you know what's next up is some B-roll. So let's queue that up right now.